In this video, we're gonna cover 21 low competition niche service businesses that you can start. I did a bunch of keyword research and found that these 21 service businesses have really high amount of people searching for those keywords, but a low amount of competition, meaning there is a lot of opportunity for you to start one of these niche service businesses. I run a junk removal company that operates in over 40 cities nationwide, and a big part of my success has been focusing on very specific niche keywords that have low competition that are easy to rank for. So that's the same thing with this list with these 21 service businesses. They're all very highly searched with low competition, which means there's a lot of opportunity for people out there to start a business around this. Get your foot in the door, get started without having to have a whole bunch of SEO or online marketing skills. So let's jump in. And real quick, I have a spreadsheet with a whole bunch of low competition, highly searched service businesses. If you enter your email down below in the description, I'll uh, send that over to you. I've got some of the ones in this video plus a whole bunch more. Now, low competition service business idea number one is lawnmower repair. Now, if you look in Ahrefs, which is a keyword tool I use, you can see that 31,000 people per month are searching for lawnmower repair and the keyword difficulty is zero. Now, keyword difficulty goes from zero to 100. So zero is the easiest it gets to rank for that. I also found that riding lawnmower repair, uh, 16,000 people per month are searching that. Four on the easy scale out of 100, which means that's also very easy to rank for. There's not a lot of competition there. And small engine repair uh, is also easy to rank for. 31,000 people per month are searching for small engine repair. It's only an eight, which is very easy to rank for. Um, and just to give you an idea of how many people that is, uh, when I'm looking for keywords that are worth going after, anything over a thousand searches per month, under 10 on the easy scale, is something that I find good to go after. So 31,000 people searching that per month is a lot of people searching that per month. And that's just people searching small engine repair. That's not people searching small engine repair New York City or a small engine repair San Diego. So there's a lot of people searching for this and other similar keywords. I think there's a big opportunity here for you to start this in your area. And a lot of the keywords in this space are very low competition. One big tell that this is a low competition niche to go after. If I type in lawnmower repair Seattle, you get some Google business listings. Don't have to have a ton of reviews. It looks like to be showing up at the top, but then the first organic listings, the first organic websites showing up are Yelp and Angie's list, which usually show up below local service business websites. So this means not many local service business websites actually have pages targeting lawnmower repair in Seattle. So if you wrote a page about lawnmower repair Seattle, it's very likely that you would show up first because there's not a lot of people targeting their content towards those keywords. Now, niche service business number two is table and chair rentals. Now, this would be renting tables and chairs to people for events, weddings, business events, concerts. If we look at the keyword research for table and chair rentals, 6.8 thousand people per month searching for table and chair rentals and zero on the difficulty scale. Again, meaning this is extremely easy to rank for. This doesn't include the people who are searching table and chair rentals near me, table and chair rental. Any other keywords are also going to have their own search volume. This is just the people searching for table and chair rentals exactly. So there's a lot of people searching for this, not a lot of competition. Whether you have an event rental company and you want to target table and chair rentals specifically, or you just want to build a business around table and chair rentals, definitely opportunity there and a lot of people looking for it. As an example, if I search table and chair rental Denver, the first website that shows up is chairrentaldenver.com. They clearly started with chair rentals and then expanded. Now they say we're so much more than chairs and they offer other types of rental services, but they clearly started as chair rental because they saw that it was a low competition term to go after. So you could start at table and chair rentals and really just go after that keyword more than anybody else and build your site around table and chair rentals like Chair Rental did, and then expand into a full service rental company as you grow. But Chair Rental Denver is an example of something that you could kind of do in your area and an example of someone else who saw the potential in that keyword. So low competition business number three is sandblasting. Now sandblasting has 6.7 thousand people per month searching for it. 10 on the easy scale out of 100. And if you search sandblasting near me, 8.4 thousand people per month are searching that when it's one out of 100 on the easiness scale. So there's definitely a lot of people searching for sandblasting. Now an example of what you could do here, um, if you, I searched sandblasting San Diego and the first website that showed up, blastingsandiego.com, and the keyword that they're going after is sandblasting San Diego. If you click on the website, 
sandblasting San Diego. It's, that's the only service that they're offering and they are just targeting their whole website towards that. And they don't have very crazy of a website, one main page and then different types of sandblasting, soda blasting, dustless blasting, residential blasting, industrial blasting, boat blasting. Um, and they've just got a simple, very short page on each one of those. Service areas, looks like they've got a page for each location, sandblasting Coronado, sandblasting National City. And so they've just got a quick page on each location and just sandblasting in that location. So you can do the same thing in your area, just build out a website specifically around sandblasting and do kind of the, some of the small cities in your area, like they did sandblasting San Diego, National City, Chula Vista, Lemon Grove, just a page for each city in your area and just target it all towards sandblasting. Basically copy blastingsandiego.com in your area. Uh, I think you could do pretty well since it is such a low competition keyword. Number four is a dead animal removal service. I did another video about 30 jobs that included dead animal removal and people charge a lot of money for dead animal removal. According to Home Guide, the average wildlife removal cost is anywhere from 200 to $600 on average and removing animals from an attic costs anywhere from $500 to $1,500 per job. So there's a lot of money in it and it is low competition. Now dead animal removal has 2.4 thousand searches per month, three on the easy scale, dead animal removal near me, 1.8 thousand on search volume, zero on the easy scale out of 100. And there's a whole bunch of other keywords under there that you could rank for if you opened a business like this. Now, number five is sprinkler repair. 9.6 thousand people per month searching for it, and it's a one out of 100 on the easy scale. Irrigation repair in the same realm, zero in the easy scale, 3.1 thousand people per month searching for that. Now, while there are a ton of sprinkler companies out there, there's not a lot of sprinkler companies that are focusing their SEO and efforts towards sprinkler repair. Repair. So if I type in sprinkler repair in my area, there'll be a few sprinkler companies popping up at Google My Business. The first website that pops up is Colorado Sprinkler Repair. So they're going after the sprinkler repair keyword and they do a whole bunch of lawn care services and sprinkler services, but they clearly saw that sprinkler repair is a needed service that is low competition. So they wanted to really target that keyword and they're showing up first for that. So that's definitely something that you could do in your area. Speaking of repair related keywords, Number six is a whole bunch of repair related services around the house. All of these keywords are low competition, window screen repair, vinyl siding repair, fence repair, deck repair, driveway repair, bathtub repair. All of these have high search volume and low competition. So you could build a full website around, you know, home repair and then write pages around each one of these specific types of repairs. So window screen repair, in San Diego, vinyl siding repair in San Diego, and write a specific page around each of those. Or you could just do a whole website around window screen repair and be the window screen repair person and expand from there. But there are a lot of repair related keywords that are low competition and highly searched. There's also generator repair, boiler repair, and sump pump repair are also very high search, low competition. Number seven is attic fan installation. Now the keyword attic fan installation, 4.1 thousand people per month searching for it, two on the easy scale. So again, very easy to rank for. And if I search attic fan installation in Denver, the first thing that pops up is atticfan.com. That's all they're going after is attic fans and they're popping up number one. There's not even any Google business listings. They actually have the Google business listing on the side over here and they're showing up number one. There's a couple Google business ads above them, but they are showing up organically number one on Google business and I'm number one in search results. And there's really no other Google business listings anywhere that I can find. It's a very simple, pretty outdated website. So attic fan installation is definitely a low competition term that you could go after. And just out of curiosity, I actually put atticfan.com, which is that website in Ahrefs to see how authoritative that website is, why they're ranking number one. And they have a domain rank of 1.7 out of 100. This is extremely low domain rank. Pretty much every other local website that you would see probably has a higher domain rank than 1.7. They're not ranking because they are super authoritative in that space. They are ranking because it's such low competition. Now, number eight is popcorn ceiling removal. If you've seen in some houses, texturized popcorn ceiling. Um, this is a company that'll go in and remove that popcorn finish for you. Now the popcorn ceiling removal keyword, 9.9 .9 thousand people are searching for it every month. Eight on the difficulty scale out of 100, which is easy to rank for. If I search popcorn ceiling removal near me, you got a handyman, drywall, drywall, Yelp page, 
360 painting, popcorn ceiling removal. I mean, if you had a Google business listing that was John's popcorn ceiling removal, definitely show up. There's not a lot of people going specifically after popcorn ceiling removal, but there are a lot of people searching for it. So number nine is going after specific types of moving services. So rather than being in a full service moving company, you can start a business that targets a specific product that needs to be moved. So pool table movers, uh, 2.9 thousand people per month searching for that, seven on the easy scale. Shed movers, so like an outdoor shed, uh, 2,000 people per month searching for that, one on the easy scale out of 100. Appliance movers, um, zero on the easy scale, 1.3 thousand people per month searching for that. So you can really go after specific types of large items that need to be moved. Hot tub movers, if you're a moving company, maybe you wanna use some of your SEO to write pages about some of these specific items that people are looking to have moved. Number 10 is couch cleaning service and mattress cleaning service. If I type in couch cleaning service, 4.6 thousand people per month searching for that specific term, one on the easy scale out of 100. Mattress cleaning service, 1.5 thousand people per month and it's a three on the difficulty scale. So both easy to rank for with a good amount of demand. And one website I found doing this is sofa cleaning losangeles.com. So they're going after sofa cleaning in Los Angeles and they've expanded into other things like carpet cleaning, rug cleaning, tile and grout cleaning. Their original keyword they're going after is sofa cleaning Los Angeles. And they've just got a whole bunch of content around sofa cleaning. Um, sofa cleaning actually gets a little less search volume than couch cleaning. And it looks like on average people to clean a mattress will charge 100 to 200, 300, 400 dollars, depending on how many mattresses that you have in your house to clean. So you could come and do, you know, multiple couches, mattresses, and have a pretty decent ticket for each job. Number 11 is a specialized electronic repair company. So going after some of these electronic repair keywords that are low competition, and there are a lot of them. So TV repair, printer repair, camera repair, vacuum cleaner repair are all very low competition and high searched. I know someone who had a camera repair company and was making over $200,000 a year just People would ship them their cameras, they would fix them, and then ship them back. And these were very specialized, nice cameras that they were working on. TV repair and printer repair, there's probably a lot of elderly people who it's a simple fix, but they don't have anybody to repair or fix some of their electronics. You can really get some decent visibility without having to do a ton of SEO. Now, number 12 is door replacement. So replacing doors at people's houses or businesses. I had someone come replace my front door. Uh, I had already purchased the door. I just needed them to take it out. Uh, you put the new door in and then seal around the edge. They were there for a few hours. I think the total cost was like $500. So there's great money in it. And it's a pretty straightforward service. Now door replacement, 5.1 thousand people searching per month, one on the difficulty scale. You know, some of those people are probably just searching for the actual replacement door, but some of those people are going to be searching for that service as well. Now number 13 is photo booth rental. So renting a photo booth to people for events, parties, and you can get really creative on the types of photo booths that you rent, but there is a lot of search volume for this. Now photo booth Booth rental has 14,000 people per month searching for it. Two on the difficulty scale. One company I found doing this is uh, the shutterbus.com. And what they actually do is they have different VW buses that they have a photo booth inside that they'll bring to events. And you actually go inside the VW bus and take pictures. There's a lot of creative things that you can do in the photo booth rental space to kind of set yourself apart. Something that you can get into in your area without a ton of competition. Number 14 is piano tuning or piano tuning service. And it's 3.1 thousand people per month searching for it. Six on the easy scale. Piano tuning, um, piano tuning near me, 2.1 thousand people per month searching for it. Two on the easy scale, if you know how to tune a piano, to be a pretty easy and low cost service to offer people. Now number 15 is hot tub and pool repair service. So hot tub repair, two on the difficulty scale, 2.4 thousand people per month searching for that hot tub repair near me, four on the easy scale, 4.9 thousand people per month searching for that. And then if we go to pool pump repair, uh, two on the easy scale, 1.4 thousand people per month searching for that. So both have a good amount of volume. Build a site around the repair aspect of pools and hot tubs. If you wanted to go into full-on pool services, you could do that and expand into that later. But starting with hot tub repair and pool pump repair, it's gonna be some easy, low competition keywords that you can go after. Number 16 is well inspection. Now well inspection, two on the easy scale, 1.1 thousand people searching that per month. That doesn't include people searching well inspection in San Diego, well inspection in Denver, 
Um, so in your area. So there's definitely more people searching for that, but it is low competition. When I search well inspection San Diego, water well drilling services shows up first. And then there's a couple Google business listings with not many reviews, water and pump testing, better business bureau. Um, so it looks like it would be very easy to rank for that term. No one is really targeting well inspection properly. Uh, so if you wanted to build a company around well inspections and other well services uh, that you can add on to that, I think it would be very easy to break into uh, in your area without a ton of SEO work. Now, number 17 is a cat sitter or cat groomer. Both of those keywords are high search volume and low competition. Uh, there's a lot of people going after dog groomers, uh, dog sitters, but I guess there's not as many people going after cat grooming and cat sitting. There's a lot of people looking for it, but not as many people servicing it. So cat sitter, 11,000 people searching per month, uh, four on the easy scale. Cat groomer, 5.2 thousand people per month searching for that, two on the easy scale. There's definitely a lot of opportunity there since people aren't going after cats specifically in the grooming and sitting space. Number 18 is really going after the commercial aspect of a service business. So being a commercial electrician or a commercial painter, just classifying yourself as specializing in the commercial aspect. So going after businesses uh, is very low competition. So commercial painter, 5.6 thousand people per month searching for that. Uh, one on the difficulty scale. Commercial electrician, 8.5 thousand people per month searching for that. Three on the easy scale. And those jobs generally are higher ticket and you're probably gonna have a lot less customer service issues and could be a lot higher profit margins and a lot less headache. Number 19 is a chimney repair service. Now chimney repair has 7.8 thousand people searching per month, eight on the difficulty scale. Chimney repair near me, 8.8 .8 thousand people searching per month, zero on the difficulty scale. So there's a lot of people looking for chimney repair. If you can get your foot in the door on chimney repair, maybe you can service people's chimneys after that and have an ongoing recurring revenue model with with them. Number 20 is a wasp exterminator and wasp exterminator has 2000 people per month searching for it. One on the difficulty scale wasp exterminator near me 1.6 thousand people searching for it. Two on the easy scale B and wasp exterminator 50. So there's a lot of different terms that people could be searching for as well as your location wasp exterminator in whatever town or if you're an exterminator uh, maybe you want to write some pages uh, around wasp exterminator in san diego wasp exterminator in denver lastly number 21 is a mobile barber or a mobile barber shop there are a lot of terms around mobile barber shop that are low competition so mobile barber 1.2 thousand people uh six on the easy scale mobile barber near me 1.4 thousand people searching five on the easy scale, mobile barber shop, 600 people searching zero on the easy scale, mobile hairdressers, 600 people searching for that, five on the easiness scale. And it seems like it's a service that people are looking for, but not many people are offering. So if you cut hair, maybe you want to set yourself apart by getting a truck and going mobile. So there you have it, 21 low competition, niche service businesses that you can start. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope it got your wheels turning on maybe some service businesses that you can start as well as help you realize that there are a lot of low competition opportunities out there. Uh, if you do a little bit of keyword research, maybe you can find some. You can use that keyword to get into the space and then expand from there. You don't have to have as much knowledge in SEO or online marketing, and you can start a business that can actually be found on Google and get yourself a little bit of momentum that you can build off of. I've got a whole spreadsheet of low competition service business ideas, e-commerce business ideas. So if you wanna see more videos like this with these business ideas that are low competition, uh, please let me know in the comments and I'll do more videos like this. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you in the next one.